Hello neighbors, it's Brad here at E-Trailer and today we're taking a look at installing the Aries Ridge Step running boards on a 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 Limited. Now this is what the running boards are going to look like when installed on our truck and you can see right away they have a nice clean design. They're not overly large yet they're still a nice spot for your feet to rest on here when you step up into the truck. It's also covered with a nice wrinkle black powder coat finish which not only looks really nice but it's also going to hold up to scratches a little bit better than your typical gloss. You'll see that it has raised steel treads and that's going to be great for when it's wet out or even if you have muddy feet you're still going to be able to get that traction and also having the holes is going to allow that water to drain that way you're not having anything pulling up so when you hop in your truck you're going to have a sure step every time. Now this is going to cover not only the front door but also the back so if you have passengers and especially if you have little ones where it's a little bit harder for them to hop in the back of the truck this is going to make it nice and easy for them and it's also going to just help with anyone that's hopping in the truck. Today's trucks seem to be getting a little bit higher ground clearance, which is a great thing, but that does kind of make it a little bit more difficult for all size passengers to hop in the vehicle. This is a great way to solve that, and it looks great in the process. Now, another great feature of this running board is going to be the fact that it's super easy to install. The brackets actually bolt into some factory weld nuts, and it's able to be set up probably within about 30 minutes or so, and you'll have these on, ready to use, pretty much right away. So speaking of that installation, I'm gonna walk you through it so you can get yours installed. To begin our installation, we're gonna be underneath the side of our truck. Now I'm using a lift just to give you guys better footage so you can see everything, but honestly, this can definitely be done by just kind of laying on the side or using a creeper to kind of go under here. And you're gonna be looking for these plastic plugs underneath the body right by the pinch weld. Now the instruction manual does say to choose certain spots to mount this up, but I've found that, well, you really have the ones already laid out, so it's nice and easy. And there's going to be these plastic plugs here, and there's also going to be one that's directly vertical above them all. So that's how you know you have the proper one. And to get these pried off, they are kind of uh, pretty flush up against the metal. So what I did is I just took my pocket knife, kind of get some of that edge out, and you can see it does pop it out a little bit. And then just using a flat head or a trim panel tool, you can go ahead and pull that out. And that's going to reveal that we have a weld nut. And for each of the ones that you have here along the bottom, you're going to have one directly vertical. So again, just pry those up. And so once you have all eight removed, you can go ahead and do the same on the other side. Now all the brackets in the kit are going to be the same, so you don't have to worry about uh, orientating them the proper way because they're going to only go one way. And this portion here that's got the open slot, this is going to go to that top hole and then you have this hole here that's going to bolt to the bottom. And so with all of our hardware, we're going to be using a split washer and then follow it up with a flat washer. So they're all going to be like that. Um, so just from here on out, make sure you have that proper orientation. Now holding our bracket in place, I'm just going to hand thread these in. Um, you can get them snug down, but for final uh, adjustment purposes, we'll uh, need to leave these to where they're not completely cinched up. You can go ahead and get this bottom one in as well. And then we'll just go ahead and do the same with the rest of the brackets. So now we're going to grab our side step here, and I'm going to just lay this upside down because you're gonna see we have this channel here. So we're also gonna grab our brackets and we're gonna slide these in place. And you can see that there's a weld nut on this side and that's going to be facing towards the step. So these just kind of slide in the channel and uh, you can kind of, if you have this laid out right here by your brackets, you can kind of just place these roughly about there. Um, and we'll go ahead and get all four of them in place. So now we're gonna just go ahead and we'll take our step and we're gonna go ahead and place it on our brackets. Now, you wanna have your hardware ready to just kinda of get a few started. And just, it can rest there for now. What we'll do is we'll slide these brackets down uh, to where this slotted portion is gonna be. And I'm just gonna go ahead and hand tighten these as well. And this is gonna allow us to still be able to slide it back and forth to get that proper uh, fitment that we're looking for and we'll just go ahead and get all of these hand tightened down on all of our brackets. 
Now with all of our brackets in place and hand tightened down, I'm going to go back with the torque wrench. And the torque setting on here is in the instruction manual. It's really, really low. So uh, be careful not to tighten this down with any power tools or anything to make it snug. That's why we left it hand tightened because this will this torque wrench will allow it to uh, be properly torqued to where it's not going to become loose over time, but also it's not going to be too tight and cause any damage to our weld nuts. So we'll go through and torque these all down. Now, if you need a torque wrench, we have these available here at E-Trailer. Um, and there, this is going to be a crucial step here because it is such a small torque setting. You want to make sure that you're not overdoing this. So we'll just go through. I'm going to do the outside edges first. So here we're on our back one. I'll do the front one and then kind of work my way to the middle. That way it seats up nice and evenly. Now, if you're a very particular person, this is going to be, I think, the most difficult portion. And that's really just aligning this exactly where you want it for perfect fitment. So you can see there's quite a bit of movement. You can really slide this to the front or to the back. It kind of depends on what you're looking for. I think the best setup for me is making sure that we have this kind of lined up nice and even up there but still have that access for the rear passenger to be able to step on here and you can also adjust this to go out or in um, it may bind up here so just kind of be even when you move this around and that's something too is if you want it set in a little bit for a slightly cleaner look that's a good option but also i kind of figure if you're stepping in you have boots or whatever having this little guard here hopefully your shoe will hit this rather than the bottom of the vehicle so i think having it out just a little bit is going to be where i'm going to go for um, it's kind of up to you what look you're looking for and how you want it set up so once you figure out exactly where you want it what you're going to want to do is take that torque wrench and just go through and I tightened one end here and then the other end and just kind of ran along finding a nice way to check the gap between the pinch weld and the side rail here and that way you know it's nice and even along the way. So I'm just going to kind of hold pressure here so we don't lose that perfect spot once we have it all aligned exactly where we want it and we're going to be using the same torque setting here so just go through. And as I mentioned before, just uh, I would start on one end and then do the outside and then work your way to the middle. That way it holds it in place as we're tightening these down. Now with all of this tightened and torqued down, I'm happy with this side. All we need to do is repeat the exact same process on the other side. And again, the hardest part is just going to make sure that you line it up perfectly with this one. And that was a look and installation of the Aries Ridge Step running boards on a 2022 GMC Sierra 1500 Limited.